Now I want to talk about windows. Now here we have our main arrange window, obviously, right? And we can go here in the logic software here. We're going to go to window. And you see here we have a list of windows we can actually key command. So here we can do command one is the arrange window. Command two is the mixer. Let's open the mixer window up. Now you see here we have the mixer in its own separate window. Rather than pulling it up in the arrange window, we can pull it up separately. And we can resize it, obviously. And we have the parameters right here within the window we can use. As you can see, we can scroll across the entire mixing board. See that? Makes it much easier for us to work with the mixer. Now, other windows we can open up are, that we're going to use a lot probably, are going to be like, uh, let's see, event list. Now, here, for example, we have an event list. See that here? This gives us the events. What I can do, I can go to, let's see, let's pick a track here we're going to use. Let's pick a track. Here's the bass track, right? So here, I'll pull up, let's say, a piano roll window. And here, a piano roll, as you can see right there. And this is a piano roll for that track. You see that? And we have the instrument right there and the notes. And this is a piano roll. Let's say if I go to a guitar and we want to pull up, let's see here, uh, we want to pull up piano roll. Nothing appears because the guitar is an audio track. So audio tracks don't have a piano roll tied to it. Be aware of that. I've seen guys that before in a session who want me to help them out. So know what you're doing with your actual tracks there. So that's the piano roll. What I can do in the piano roll, though, I can go to Window, and I can pull up my sample editor. And notice also, the sample editor does not have any key commands. I can't go Command-10 or anything like that. You see that right there? I've got to go directly to the Window to get to it. I open it up, and now here's my sample editor for the guitar wah. The region name will appear here at the bottom, as you can see right there. And this is the region right here. And I can scroll within this region. See, I got my little sound right there. It's like a little uh, speaker right there. And stop. So I can just sort of drag along inside that region and figure out, well, where am I going to edit? Find a spot I want to edit and edit right there in my sample editor window. This is a great way to pull the windows up and get access to any region you want to get access to. Now what I can also do here, we've got our regions. Go back to the base again. And I'm going to go here to Events. Now here we'll see a list of the events. See that here? And this is my event list. Let me close that again. Now let's go back to here. I double click in here. We have the piano roll. See that? Okay, good. So I'm going to get out of here again. And this is the bass. And we're going to unsolo that. We go back to event list. And now here I have the event list of all the bass notes. See that? These are all the bass notes here for that particular track from the top to the bottom. And it goes by, see it's bars here, it's bar three, four, five, six. And I can scroll down here to the bottom, and it's the bottom, right there to bar 44. And each note, and the event for each note. And I can go here again, I'm going to go to Edit List again, and I have the same thing. What I can do, I'm going to click here twice, I'm going to go once, two times, now it turns purple. And what happens here, it turns purple, you can see here, I have every track that has events here. They're all here. Snare loop, delay synth, the tambourine, the Caribbean loop, funky loop. They're all right here. The bass line's right there. So this is the bass that's been chosen. And here's the notes for the bass. So if I choose uh, a event here, list item, we'll say this Caribbean, then this will change. I go here to bass. That's what that is. I go to here to jam. Here's jam loop. Here's snare loop. See? So the snare loop is here. The events are here. These are the event list of each event. Got that? And here, of course, is a snare. So I can go back here, go to bass. And let's go back to bass now. Where's this bass? Right there. And here's my bass events. Now I can press play from the top. And you see this little line come down here. And it's coming out along the bass where the bass box playing. And you see this little white line here and a line here 
well, this is the bar it's at. Obviously, it's the bar it's at there. And so it's scrolling down as we play. And we can see which events are play, have been played and which events are going to play next. Okay? Now, one thing I'll talk about these, also these windows here. Some windows are normal windows. It's going to be there. And some windows are floating windows. Now, floating windows remain on top of the overall session. For example, I click on here. This is my event list. I click that's my event list. If I click on this arrangement in the background, the floating windows remain on top no matter what. So I can click here. They're not going anywhere. But let me close these windows right now. Close this window here. And I'm going to go open the window. Let's say we're going to open up the mixer window. I click here, and hey, it's behind there. Let's get in the window. Let's get in the window. We can pull up here. Let's get this uh, piano roll. And I click here, and the piano rolls behind there. So you may have windows open. You don't even know where they are because some are floating, some are normal. So the most active one, the one that's active presently, will be seen as the front window. So here, for example, I can go to the window drop-down menu, and right here in the bottom of that menu, you'll see which windows are open. So I can say, wait, this one's open. Let's open this window right here, or open this window right here. I'll go back to the mixer window, and it's back out in front again. Okay, so we have windows that are behind and some windows that are actually in front. Now, a lot of ones are going to use most of the time for me. I'm going to use the mixer window, the sampler window, sample editor right there, and I will use the event list window. So, but there are a lot of windows here. We also have a score window, so you can see the score of a particular track. And look at the score and say, what's the view of this score? Oh, we don't know. We can see it here. And you can see what the score looks like right here and how that view is. Go for a list of it, and there's the entire view of that particular score. This is a score window. I can also go here to my next window I'll look at. See, let's look at the uh, transform. It's a transform window. We also have an environment window. So I'm going to go over all these windows, but first I want to get you the most, the ones I'm going to use most of this entire lesson. It's going to be more or less the event, the mixer, and our piano roll and our editor as well also. We can also use an audio bin too. So once you want to search your files, you'll see them right in here. But what files I want to search for it? The audio bin window is really great for that purpose also as well. Now to toggle between these windows, you can press command and the tilde. That's the little button below escape. And you can toggle between windows. Every time I hit it, I go to the next window. Here's the mixer window. This is the arrange window, which is for the piano roll. And this is the arrangement of the arrangement of the overall session. And that's how our windows work.